Hi. In this short video, I will show you how to build a pixel classifier in per glass mirror. First, we select the project type. We have a scan from SpecimFX camera. We can define a directory where our scans are located. And we can select computational device. I have a GPU on this machine, so I can select the GPU. Here we have uh, the environment of per class mirror. And uh, we can drop in uh, a new image. We can add image to project, right clicking in the image list and selecting scan. The scan will be loaded and corrected so that uh, what we see is uh, reflectance. On the right side of the screen, uh, we see a spectral plot. We can uh, use the mouse wheel to stretch the um, range of the plot. You can see there the RGB lines that uh, allow us to make a false color image by selecting specific bands. Uh, this data is from a near-infrared camera from 900 to 1700 nanometers, so uh, this is just a false color view, not a real color of the objects, but it can uh, help us to um, uh, label different types of material. Uh, in this uh, image we can see uh, some product, uh, there are two types of nuts uh, and different contaminations that are appearing on um, the sorting application such as uh, nutshells, pieces of wood, stone, leaves or um, kernels of olives. Um, before we build a model we can also look at uh, a single band view of the data. We have only one slider, one line there can select a specific band that is uh, visualized and if we um, use the mouse wheel uh, you can see this uh, red pattern appearing for the uh, areas where the pixel value is above the current range of the spectral plot so this is just a visualization feature. If we want to build a classification solution we need to define uh, classes uh, and then label some examples. Uh, first class that we define as a background and we can start uh, painting examples of background uh, if we want a brush of a different size we can change it uh, with the brush button toolbar zooming in the image is possible with zoom in and zoom out buttons or by holding a control key and then zooming to point we define second class called product and uh, label some examples of uh, the nut. Uh, you can see in the spectral plot uh, the mean spectrum of the labeled examples of each class and the min and max giving us the feeling of uh, variability uh, of the labeled data. Uh, now we um, labeled two uh, classes. We can actually build a classification model by clicking the model search button on the toolbar. The software will automatically um, build a model and um, switch to the decision view that is uh, showing the decision for each pixel uh, of the image. Because we only have background and product classes, we only see green and uh, blue colors respectively. And uh, we can actually control um, the blending between uh, the band view only on one uh, end and with uh, only seeing the, uh, the decision colors on the other end. So uh, this transparency is only again a visualization feature that allows us to see um, through uh, the decision layer. Uh, we can switch uh, back to the label view and for example um, uh, add a new class called foreign object. Uh, and label some examples, let's say, of this uh, nut uh, shell and search for a new model that uh, can handle these three different classes. You can see that now we found, find some shells, um, but there are many other materials in the scene. And uh, we can actually use a specific tool called Show Unknown to highlight the areas of, of the image that are really not known to the model. 
So this is suggesting where we should label. We don't need to blindly label everywhere, but we should label only the relevant uh, examples. We can switch to the label um, view and, uh, for example, label here, example, leaf and uh, here um, piece of wood and uh, we can search for a new model uh, the new model is more capable on the foreign objects uh, however we can see a lot of errors around the objects uh, we can improve by labeling those difficult areas and retraining the model. If we are only updating uh, the, the labeling um, a little bit, we don't need to always search for a new model. We can simply reuse the last model and simply update it with the latest uh, data. You see that here we have uh, the leaf uh, that uh, it's being lost to the background, so we can make a smaller brush and label some examples. If you need to um, uh, remove any labeling, you just hold the shift key to remove and we retrain again. We still have uh, stone examples that were not found. And we may improve in some parts. And then we can um, anytime include more images uh, to the project and directly see the decisions uh, on these uh, new images um, anytime that we need to uh, label. Uh, more examples we can do it on any of the images and they will be included uh, in training the model um, so we can uh, improve for example also the background uh, segmentation and improve product uh, Uh, now we built um, our classifier, um, pixel classifier, and we can uh, now apply it to more uh, scans, um, uh, or we can uh, do further analysis on the objects, or uh, we can also export this classifier uh, for a per class uh, mirror runtime and execute it on the live stream of data from the spectral sensor. Thank you for your attention.